Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to jump right into it today, but first I do want to welcome anyone who's new here. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. All right. Okay. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, you might have seen the world come tumbling out right here. We'll start with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. I do want to thank everyone, too, for hitting that like button. It definitely does something, so if you don't mind liking the reading, I sure do appreciate it. And thanks, too, for subscribing. You have the Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, the High Priestess, also a two. We're getting a pattern, a number pattern. Another five, the Hierophant. This is getting crazy. The King of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and death. Well, you've got you and your own energy of Taurus here. Um, you have four major arcana, but I definitely feel like this is significant. This five, two, five, two, five. There's something about that. So for somebody, they're trying to talk directly to you. But I'll tell you what, this looks pretty good from where I'm sitting. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're coming together. You've got unity here. You've got trust. You've got high moral values, positive choices showing up. And you've got a match. You have a true partnership here. Now, there's going to be information that comes out. There's information that's going to let you move forward from a conflict. Or if you've been waiting and you feel like you're at somebody else's mercy, if there's some sort of a, even to like a rent increase that keeps happening, I feel like there could even be something governmental like a rent ceiling put in place or rent cap. But I also feel like too, though, especially with relationships, if you're a owner of a lonely or a broken heart, you're not going to be here. You truly have a marriage. You have a marriage, but you also have somebody who's a soulmate energy showing up here. So with the world energy, this is the perfect new cycle. It's wrapping up old unfinished emotional business, old karma, old things that you feel like, my God, what in the world did I do to deserve this? How did I get here? Now there's a very empowering result from looking at what did I, what was going on. I mean, I've looked at when I've, I've attracted some very volatile people in my life and Greg Braden, one of the metaphysical teachers I've listened to, he's an archaeologist, if you know him, um, talked about when he attracted three different people at the same time and how much they took advantage of him. And he realized later that there was a sign happening. So I do feel like you're wrapping that up and you're going to move forward. Those of you that have had a rough go of it, or you've just been sort of hanging in limbo going, when is life going to start to move forward? I do feel like it all begins with you. They keep saying it's an inside job, but we want to see outside results, don't we? So if you had something here that was rather disappointing, like a, like I was just saying, you are being outsourced or out something with the... Uh, cost of living in your area. I don't know why they said outsourced. I don't know where that was coming from. It threw me for a minute. But if if it is something with a job too, maybe that's why they were pushing in to say if, you, if things were being outsourced and you lost a job or you're living in a constant state of toxic stress, it feels like this. Even if the ending hasn't happened, I feel like somebody's walking around going, well, the end is near, you know, and it's like, when is it going to happen? And that's almost worse. It's like, you just tell me it's done rather than keeping me on the ropes like this so I can move forward. So I do feel like they're saying it's time to get into action. It's time to move some things. And like I said, information comes out. We're going to be apprised of something that's going to help with that. Now, in terms of a relationship too, though, if you are in a constant state of toxic stress because you're always questioning what this person is doing, you're needing to Google their name or get on dating apps to see if they have an account, I just feel like they're saying this isn't getting any better and it's time to move on. Now, some of you too, you may meet somebody when you've got one foot out the door and they look a whole lot like this. You have somebody coming in who's a true match. And if it's a situation, they're trying to tell you there's a match for you. So don't 
Don't delay. Don't be despair. Don't sit in negative feelings thinking, how is this ever going to change? Start taking some action. But with this Two of Cups, it is a time when you, it's truly reciprocal. In a love relationship, it's an even match and it's somebody who can fully give themselves to you. So if the relationship too has already ended and you figured out this person was quite a narcissist, they were not able to give themselves like this person can. It's somebody too who may have had a bad turn of events in their own love life that they really are like, I'm not taking a chance on love unless it's the real thing. I'm not going to mess around with this and do this again. And so they may be at first a bit, I don't even want to say guarded, but they're just not, they, they may not come across too overly strong at first. They are interested, but I feel like they're kind of trying to feel out the waters a little bit and see, is this something I want to dive head into? And I do feel like the answer to that is yes. And so with this five of swords, both of you, I feel like it's both of you are saying, I do not want conflict. I do not want to be in an energy where I have to constantly watch my back. And if it's a job too, I get that loud and clear. Like I, I'm into a situation, you're moving on into something where you have a whole lot more trust in how things are being handled. And if you do have a boss who sucks, pardon me, um, I do feel like too, they may be moving on. There may be some sort of a shift where they actually are the one that ends up moving on. But I feel like you just kind of maintain your own side of the street. You don't get into it with them. You don't try to prove anything. If you're a whistleblower, I feel like you're going to do it under the table. It's not a time to draw a lot of attention to yourself. I feel like that's somewhat of a survival tactic, that that's what I'm hearing at least. And so with this five of swords in some ways, even if it's the ending of a relationship, I feel like you might do it rather quietly. I keep hearing that quietly quitting, um, even with a relationship saying like, I'm not trying to end with a big bang here. I'm just trying to get away from it. So with the high priestess energy, you have a knowing here, but the truth is going to come out. Now with the high priestess too, you're, you might find you have a really unbelievable internal sense of calm. If you've been stressed, if you've been living in toxic stress, this is where you know that everything is going to be okay and that everything is moving forward. She does not need to shout from the rooftops. So you may find too that you quietly and, and collect, quietly collect the information. You gather the details so that you have this knowing. Whenever you have scrolls like this in the tarot, it's information. And so I do feel like they're trying to tell you that this is going to be a time when the information is going to come out that's going to be very helpful for you in moving forward. And if it is a relationship, again, you might see things in a new light. She cannot be tricked. If someone's tried to fool you, it's not going to happen again. Not, not with this. This is an energy too. Of She's a bit passive, but again, not desperate. She knows. She knows what she knows what she knows. So with the high, um, I didn't mention this before, the Hierophant and the High Priestess here, these two are counterparts. So I do feel like you're bringing in a match. And like I described your match before, it may be somebody who is on the more quiet, reserved side at first, where they're taking things in. And with the energy of the Hierophant, it's be still and know. But it's also somebody who has a very solid moral compass. This is somebody who pays their bills on time, who takes care of where they live. They take care of their car and their pets. They would not do anything underhanded. They are not doing anything on the side, not whatsoever. But this is also a marriage. So for somebody here, you're bringing in a true soulmate. And if you don't believe in the technology of marriage, you may find that this is just your partner for life too, not just. I mean, that's let's not minimize that. That's a pretty big deal. So the King of Wands has you moving forward and brings the pet back into your step. And so for somebody here too, if it is a boss that you don't like, and I mentioned before, they might be getting exited, I feel like you may get a promotion out of the deal. They may do something to disperse the workload of one person onto a couple of different people and just give everybody more money who's interested in it. But I also feel like you're going to gain a sense of autonomy, whether it's you moving into a better position where you currently work or moving on to somewhere else. It just feels like you feel better respected if you were in a situation where you were disrespected, not here. And so with the King of Wands, it brings in excitement. It brings in charisma. It's a great card for anybody who's teaching or training other people. You're going to have a real facility for it. 
But in terms of a relationship, you've got a spark here. So I mentioned before, there is there is a bit of discernment going on. It's not just jump right in and, you know, who, who cares what happens? Like I said, I feel like you've both been hurt. But with this, he's a huge action taker. So this is a card of somebody who is going to be all in, who believes in you, who is magnetized. You're magnetized together. There's chemistry here and it's undeniable. But like I said, I feel like it moves forward in a very mature way. So with this nine of swords, needless worry comes up. If you're worried about somebody talking about you too, I get that too. I feel like it's an energy of saying, look, be still and know. No one is going to pay any mind to this, okay? You have great support here. You have people who believe in you who would not believe a negative thing about you. And they'll say to you too, I know who you are. I don't listen to one sentence of that crap. And I feel like too, they'll shut it down if you're worried about that. Because I do get that with that nine of swords. Now, with you and your own energy here, we love the death card around here because it's all about a new beginning. Death is a reinventing yourself. It's like the first day of the rest of your life. So for some, it is leaving relationships or leaving a career for something else. Um, but it's also too saying your time is now. It's your time to move forward endings that we must embrace in order to start on that new first day. But it's it's also too joyous, oddly enough. It's like he's not even paying attention to what he's leaving behind. He just moves forward. So, Scorpio, I do feel like you have a new cycle that's going to deliver. All right, what else does Scorpio need to know, please? What advice do you have for Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio? Guidance, please, for Scorpio. Meditation brings answers. Quiet that mind down, especially with the highly spiritual energies of the high priestess and the hierophant. The situation will improve. You have here remain positive. We've got you ready. And you have a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you and I'll be back again soon.